Hi, Ashley. Hi, Terry. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So I just had a couple questions. Um, we are kind of starting a lifestyle part of our website on Celebmix, so yep. this is a perfect interview. Great. Um, what are some of your secrets for a healthy lifestyle without sacrificing foods that we all love? Well, I always talk about eating from an empowered place and indulging consciously because when we say we're never going to have something again that we really love, first of all, it's not necessary to live like that. But second of all, it usually just ends up making all of us want to indulge more in whatever that is we're trying to deprive ourselves of. So I always talk about you know indulging in a conscious manner. So having you know a couple conscious indulgences a week. So if it's you know really focusing in on what you're truly craving and what you really love having, whether it be you know a specific dessert or a specific type of you know pasta dish or whatever that whatever that thing is that you truly crave and you truly um, you know love to indulge in, having a portion controlled. Um, portion of that in, you know, in a conscious sort of empowered manner from a, I can eat that because I do, you know, eat healthy, whole, real foods the majority of the time. And I do sleep well and drink all my water and green tea. And I do exercise consistently. When you eat from an empowered place like that, it's, um, first of all, it makes you happier and it's easier to control the foods you eat without overdoing it. Right, that makes sense. And then that kind of leads into my next question. Um, you know, you get on social media or you pick up a cover of a magazine and everyone is talking about how said celebrity lost 15 pounds in 10 days or right. so-and-so lost. Right. You know, so what advice would you give to young people who are trying to get healthy the right way? Yeah, do not, do, do not, do not try to do those things. Although I have to say, actually, sometimes, sometimes though, I have to give a lot of celebs credit. There are many celebs out there that um, you, they follow really healthy lifestyles a lot of them. And, you know, sometimes they might have the means to do so. It might be a little bit easier. But, I mean, there are many celebs out there that do actually do, you know, aren't all just like losing weight fast like that. They're actually doing a lot of healthy things like, you know, having indulgences in controlled, you know, portions like I just mentioned drinking lots of green tea, eating their, you know, greens three times a day and getting in their healthy fats. So there are a lot of celebs that do do a lot of those things, but don't, you know, try to do those quick fixes. The quick fixes generally do not work and set you up for failure. Kind of in the same way I was saying, you know, when you when you try to completely deprive yourself of, you know, I'm never going to have something again, that sets you up for failure. So does going for a quick fix. So make long-term changes. Make changes that you can live with. I always say 360 days a year. Not 365 days because that's probably not practical. But the majority right. of the days, you know, things like eating a healthy breakfast, eating consistently throughout the day, eating mostly whole real foods. So when you do things that you can do the majority of the time, you know, you, if you are aiming to lose weight, you'll end up losing weight. Even if it's slower, it'll be, you'll be doing it in a way that you'll keep that weight off. Right. And then, so the holidays are coming up. Uh, people talk about comfort food, you know, turkey, gravy, all that stuff for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. What are some ways that we can make that healthier? Are there recipes online to make that healthier? Or is it more about the controlled portions? Yeah, well, I think it's both. I always say, you know, you really want to do both. You want to create all those recipes from the healthiest place you can. So using whole real foods, using healthier ingredients. I mean, I have some example right here of we have granola, right? And, you know, granola can be something where it's loaded with sugar and loaded with unhealthy fats, or it can be super healthy. And you can use, you know, a little bit of applesauce to sweeten it or and also use a healthier fat like a coconut oil. But that still doesn't mean you can eat, you know, endless amounts of it. You still want to use portion control and listen to your body and have a portion controlled amount. Stop when you're slightly satisfied. So it's really both. It's choosing the most nutrient dense foods and then also eating those foods in, you know, a portion controlled manner and listening to your body. And then as far as listening to your body goes, um, there are so many, again, with like the things that you read online, misconceptions about food. What are some of the biggest that you've noticed? Well, one thing you know that I'm talking about a lot today because, um, of, again, the holidays and the season and everybody loves chocolate is chocolate. I mean, chocolate's one of those foods that people overconsume because they think, oh, it's good for me. Kind of like they think of red wine. Oh, it's good for me. I can have more right. of it. So we overdo it because we're sort of using that as an excuse. But the truth is the true benefits of chocolate come from the cocoa flavanols. Cocoa flavanols are found in the cocoa bean and they help our body maintain healthy nitric oxide levels, which helps our body with healthy blood flow. But traditional chocolate is loaded with sugar and is highly processed and 
destroys all those cocoa flavanols, which is why I've actually partnered with Coco Via, which what they've done is through their Cocoa Pro process, they've extracted the cocoa flavanols. So we're getting all of those benefits from from just you know, one packet right here without, you know, without eating, you know, a whole big, you know, 10 bars of chocolate. We're getting it all right here. And then you can add this to you know, oatmeal or you can add it to yogurt or you can add it to coffee and make a mocha. That's delicious. We all love coffee. Right. <laughs> so then with the holidays, um, again, coming up, kind of the last question, what is one of your favorite recipes to go to during this time of year that's healthy but still tasty? Oh, you know what one of my favorite recipes is? I would have to say a healthy mashed potato. I love uh, mashed sweet potatoes, and I use a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg, and it's absolutely delicious and tastes so decadent. Well, that's awesome, and I'll definitely try to find a little recipe for that and link that into the article. Um, thanks so much for talking to us today, Carrie. Oh, you're welcome. Bye-bye.